At the beginning of season seven, Kathy and Geordie are split. Geordie and Kathy are no longer together. How about next Saturday we take a run down the coast? All of us together. That would be lovely. But we best not. I don't want to confuse the kids. So Geordie needs somewhere to stay. And where better? The vicarage. Sharing his life with Will, Mrs C and Dickens. She ends up getting her niece to come in and help with the children so that there's uh, not so much of that difficulty. I'm helping Auntie Gareth with the kids. And since when did she need help? Well, since you're here and she's there, she said Saturdays are your day with them. She also said you'd forget. Where are the kids? With Bonnie. It's your Saturday with them. She's kind of trying to carve out a new life for herself. Men. Disappointing bunch, aren't they? And she's really forging forward and moving forward, as women did at that particular time. Starting our own union. Women workers of Cambridge. Equal rights, equal pay. Chance to badmouth the idiotic men in our lives. She's partly enjoying the independence, but she's doing it for a point. She's doing it because she wants to be recognised in her own right as a person. But I don't even know who you are now. And you sure as hell don't seem to know who I am. I'm worried about Kat. She's really sad and mopey. Oh, poor Kat. How's George? Good morning. Oh. It's nearly two. Geordie's kind of somehow wanting what Will is going through. He wants that freedom, he wants that excitement again. However, he needs his anchor. He needs Kathy. That's what Geordie needs in life. I think you're the most formidable woman I've ever met. And I see a good man, but one that has a habit of losing his way. Touch more honesty and help with that. I can do honesty. Mm -hmm. Honest George did call me. And I see that charm. <laughs> and I see those baby blues. Still able to set me all a quiver. Flattery will get you nowhere, Mrs. Kitty. You're still under caution. Well, in that case, this would be quite improper.